Unit B, Element 2.4, Toxicological Testing. We will start by looking at animal testing. Animal testing involves exposing animals to the test substance under controlled conditions. A range of tests may be conducted, each according to standardised test methods. For example, testing for acute toxicity, skin sensitisation, repeated dose toxicity, etc. There are advantages of animal testing. For example, it doesn't rely on exposing people to chemicals, thereby preventing human disease and suffering. But there are also disadvantages and limitations. For example, responses may vary between species, so the application to humans can be questionable. It is also time consuming and expensive. Because of these disadvantages and limitations, alternatives to animal testing are used. These include in vitro studies, where study is done in a test tube, such as the Ames mutagenicity test, and predictive studies such as grouping and read across, and quantitative structure activity relationship studies, or QSAR for short. In the final section of 2.4, we will look at the dose response relationship. The relationship that exists between the dose of substances, usually measured in milligrams of the substance per kilo of body weight, and the effects that the dose elicits. This dose response relationship can be represented by the dose response curve. One value that is often used as an indication of toxicity derived from the classic dose response curve is LD50. LD50 is the dose of chemical predicted to kill 50% of the test population. Another value of great significance from the dose response curve is the dose below which the effect or response being tested for is not detectable. In the classic LD50 study, this effect is death. This is often called the threshold dose. If there is no detectable ill health effects of any sort, then this threshold dose is called the no observed adverse effect level or NOAEL.